Hello there Carpologists, I'm Joe and today we're going to be taking a look at this, the JRC Cocoon 2G Wide Wheel Barrow. So the first thing I'm going to look at with this barrow is practicality because a barrow could be very good once fully erected and being in use but how good is it when it's packed down and in storage and getting in and out of the uh, shed and in and out of your car and as you can see from the size of what this uh, barrow erects up to it packs down very very small quite low profile and that's everything included you don't have to take the arms off or the legs or anything all i have done is taken the wheel off to make this flat so you can tuck that somewhere else in the car you don't have to remove it if you don't want if you've got enough space but you can do so but from this position it's very easy to put together as well so i'll just lift this up pop the wheel in place like so just do up the screws and then the wheel is in place. So like I said, you could leave it like that, but it is a bit more cumbersome trying to get it into your car. Lift it up, pull this round, which is the handles and the legs, which come together. So you can have them separate, as you can see, they fold differently. But if I bring out both at the same time, the leg is now in position, then the handle, pop these little clips in, like so. And that locks the legs in place and the arms in place you've then got your fully usable barrow so obviously that'll get quicker over time that was just me showing you quickly and then you have a fully usable barrow now to put a figure on how quick this actually is to set up and pack down i'm going to time it packing down starting from now Thirteen seconds to pack it down completely. Now reset that and do it on setting up. Starting from now. Fifteen seconds. Don't think you can query or uh, be upset with those sort of set up and pack down times. Now the size of this as well, already a much, well a very big, decent sized barrow. I've got all the stuff I needed with me today on it, the uh, bed chair, buckets in this bag here, my um, bivvy, a few uh, other items, rods and things. Plenty more space to go because all of these are fully adjustable. As you can see, both the sides go out very easily and much easier to adjust than some of these screw fitting ones. Just quickly pull these little latches and it loosens it, push them back in and tighten up again. So from a very small pack down size, this goes to a very big and very stable barrow. So uh, if you're liking something that has uh, small packages but packs a punch once fully erected, more of a grower than a shower, then uh, this could be the barrow for you. Now as for storage and capacity, JRC have added a few little things to make things a lot easier for you. So they've utilised this wasted space between the legs and the wheel by adding this bag which can uh, be velcroed into place. You don't have to have it on there if you don't want, but it just gives you that additional space. It's perfect for buckets, you could put your clothes in there or just things that aren't going to be used as much. Say you're fishing from the barrow, these are odds and sods that you're not going to use uh, or frequently but you need to take with you, you can stick them in there and know they're protected and they're always going to be with you but like I said you don't have to have that with you but that does a velcro onto the frame of the uh, barrow and there's also a divider in here so at the moment if you have it separate you've got one large capacity space but if you want to add something in put the divider in there just to store a few things separate from other things then you can do so nice and rigid uh, base rigid there but the rest fold so you don't have to take this off each time when you collapse the uh, barrow down because you all you have to do is undo the two velcros on the rear of the legs and this whole thing collapses down and the sandwiches between the legs and the handles and the rest of the barrow because there's a few little breather holes at the bottom of this so it doesn't trap all that air it's breathable compacts down so you can keep that in place which is very very handy and then moving up to the front here rather than just having big gaps where straps and things could fall through get tangled up in the wheel they've included this uh, almost like a, a fence like material or, or wire or a mesh 
uh, which can be folded up. If I just remove this clip, which is holding it in place at the moment, as you can see, that can be folded up and held there because you can extend the front, put a few items there, a few items here, if you wanted to keep that separate. I'm not really sure why you would, but I'm pretty sure it's used for that. So it does give you access to the Velcro uh, straps to connect the bag onto there. It also gives the protection from any other item that you put on top from getting caught up in the wheel. So nothing's going to fall through, which is dead handy. Now another little addition that JRC have made is on the front section. Now as I said, the sides and the front are fully adjustable. If we just loosen this off and extend it, you can see that gives you loads more capacity to put things on. But it would mean that this could potentially get a little bit uh, less stable. The, the bars could just flex or whatnot. But they've included this little bar. So you can just slide that up and down on this, which gives it much more stability there. It also stops any kind of uh, bending of the bars in between and also less likely for things to fall through. So if you were extended this out, if you think that's quite a big expanse of space where things could fall through, so just by putting that there, it's going to stop things like buckets and that falling through. This gives a bit more uh, of a surface area, I suppose, for things to sit on, which is a very, very small feature, but one I thought was rather clever. So it packs down small, it sets up quickly and has a very large load capacity. But what about actually using this? Now, I've only used it for today, of course, and I didn't pack it up to the, to the sky with loads of different items. I just bought the stuff that you bring for, a, for an overnighter sort of thing. But it can hold a lot more, of course. And the banks here are uh, fairly well maintained, but it is winter regardless of where you go. It's a bit more slippery on the foot, a bit more squelchy, and this coped absolutely no problems. And that's mainly thanks to the fact that it's got the heavy duty, wider profile wheel, which is, has a much more of an aggressive tread to it. So it doesn't sink into the ground as well because it's wider. It, it sort of distributes that weight a lot more. It's much more balanced and, and stable because it's wider. And also because of the aggressive tread, it doesn't slip around so much. So say if you were walking along a slightly slopey, slippy bank, that shouldn't slide as much as a narrower less aggressive uh, tread type wheel it's holding it wise as you can see the handles are very comfortable we've got rubber grips on it so there's no chance of slipping around on that but also the pivot point is perfect now you want to load a barrow up uh, the same whatever barrow you ever get you need to load it properly with weight towards the the, the wheel and in front so that when you lift it the pivot points in the right place the weight is at the front and not on your back so it feels nice like that but very easy to maneuver it around as you can see from some of the shots turning this around it didn't feel cumbersome it didn't feel lopsided and again like i said that's that's partly down to how you load it but that wide wheel just gives you that extra bit of stability that you need the handles are in the right position only a little bend of the knees and you're up, you've got probably, well, I can put my foot under there with a few inches clearance from the foot without that dragging on the floor. So there's none of this crouch in your back. It just feels like a very natural position to be holding it. And uh, putting it down, you've got mud feet, so it's not going to sink into the ground. Nice and stable once it's down because of the wide tyre and the mud feet. When you're loading things up, obviously you still want to keep it on a fairly level ground, but it makes it much easier when you're loading it up that it's not going to fall over one way before you've put a counterbalance on the other side. So it's very practical and easy to use as well. So there we go, the JRC Cocoon 2G Wide Wheel Barrow. And I've gone over pretty much everything that I can think of and can't seem to find any negatives. It packs down small, it's quick to set up, it carries a lot of stuff, it's easy to use, and it's very durable and gonna last a long time. So for more information, please head over to the JRC website. You can pick one of these up for £199. But for now, cheers for watching, and I'll see you again soon.